Hi everyone and welcome back I bet this is for you TV we have a packed weekend full of action and in our betting show today we provide you with the best tips to make the most of the opportunities. We will start with a bet of the day and a treble from our experts here at Betting This For You TV at quarter and we will then go to our Premier League betting expert Robbie Billund who will give us the tips and analysis for the weekend. After that we will head to Italy where our local expert Luca Semproni will provide his predictions on the Spanish La Liga and the Italian Serie A. Last but not least we will go to Paris where Justine Matignon will relay the tips on our, of our local office in France for the League One. Before I start, I'm pleased to report that on Wednesday night our 7-1 treble on the FA Cup came in very, very nicely. Well done to our experts who have delivered another great accumulator after a 16-1 and 9-1 wins of the previous days. Make sure you subscribe to Betting This For You TV as you will get access to all exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. Remember that those tips are not available on our website or on our Twitter feed you can only get them by watching Bet This For You TV videos here on YouTube. All you need to do to subscribe is to click in the link in the post above and everything is completely free. Also, in the description below, you will find the links that will load the best suggested directly in your bet slip. In this way, you will save time as you don't have to find those selection on the bookmaker sites and also you will ensure to back our tips with the best possible price. But now, let's, let's start with the tips. And firstly, we will provide you with a bet of the day and a treble made by our expert here at Bet News for You TV headquarters. The bet of the day for this weekend is the under 2.5 goals in Crystal Palace v Burnley at 4-7. Two low-scoring teams face each other in South London and if you're looking for an entertaining affair, you're probably better off looking elsewhere. Traditionally, this is a very low-scoring match as seven of the last eight clashes between those two teams have returned less than 2.5 goals. Burnley beat Palace 1-0 in both of the last two matches played and with Oxon they will have to do it without Wilfred Zaha it is challenging to see the Eagles doing significantly better. Begging the under 2.5 goal has been a very profitable idea this season when the Clarets have been involved. Sean Dyche's men have scored one of fewer goals in 19 of their 23 Premier League matches this season. So the under 2.5 has also been the outcome in 16 of those 23 contests. So we do expect an all, another low scoring affair this weekend and the under 2.5 looks a very solid option and this is our bet of the day. But now let's move to the treble. The first selection is Burnley and draw in double chance. We are starting our treble also with this match. Both those two teams were outplayed in midweek in their respective games. Palace lost 2-0 against Leeds in uh, Monday night football in the Premier League, while Burnley were eliminated in the FA Cup at Bournemouth also with a 2-0 defeat. Burnley have now lost three of the last four games and this is why those odds look particularly high ahead of this clash. If we look a bit closer though, we can see that two of these defeats came against the so-called Big Six clubs in the form of Chelsea and Manchester City. During this period, they also deliver a good performance to get a point against high-flying uh, Brighton. In midweek, Sean Dyche had to rest a few people as the Premier League survival is too important for the Clarets and this explained the defeat against Bournemouth. Burnley are now 8 points clear of the relegation zone and avoiding a defeat against Palace would be a massive step forward this weekend. Roy Oxen will probably miss Wilfred Zaha once again and this is a massive blow for the, for the Eagles. If we look uh, at the stats, without team, Palace have lost 18 of their last 23 matches. So we really believe Burnley can avoid a defeat in this match and um, in doing so they will uh, go um, a long way to protect their Premier League status. There is value in begging Burnley and draw in double chance and this is our first selection of this weekend treble. The second selection is Ranger to win with two goals handicaps against Kilmanock. It has been a sensational season for Steve Gerrard and the Jers as they have won 24 of the 28 matches played and are yet to taste defeat. At home, Rangers have averaged 3 goals a game this season and should be able to score a few against a Kilmanock side who have scored only 9 goals away from home this term. We do not see a possibility for an upset here considering Kilmanock have lost their last 6 games and are moving closer and closer to the bottom of the Scottish Premiership. So Rangers to win with two goals handicap is our second selection. 
The third selection is both teams to score in Brighton v Aston Villa. This is likely to be a rather open affair. With Brighton, they are in very good form and should provide a valid test to uh, lively villains. The Seagulls are unbeaten in the last five league matches and they seem to be playing their most effective football under Graham Potter. Albion were defeated in midweek by Leicester, but that was mostly due to the decision from the Seagulls managers to field a weakened side against the Foxes. Villa are looking for consistency and do have some defensive issues uh, even if they are very important up front. In a match that could go either way, we believe that the value is on both teams to score market. Aston Villa have scored at least once in 8 of the last 10 league games, while Brighton have scored exactly one goal in 4 of the last 5 matches. This is traditionally also a match where goals are coming from both ends. Looking at the stats, both teams have scored in each of the last four meetings between uh, Brighton and Aston Villa. So our third selection of this weekend treble is Brighton v Aston Villa, both teams to score. Our treble returned just below 6-1, to one, so if you bet £10, you will get back around 59 And let's hope that we get another win like we've done on Wednesday, where our 7-1 to one, uh, treble landed nicely on the FA Cup. But now... Let's hear what our Premier League betting expert Robbie Billund has to suggest for this weekend. Robin has, has delivered great results with his tips, both on Betting This For You TV and also on our website in recent weeks. He will provide a bet of the day and a treble on the Premier League for this weekend. Robin, that's over to you. Hello everyone and welcome to a new weekend of Premier League football. Uh, we have a... Uh... Long weekend ahead of us with games Saturday, Sunday and Monday and then goes uh, into midweek as well with, uh, for example, Manchester City against Everton. But we've looked deeper into the games uh, during the weekend and also the Chelsea game on Monday night. Um, it's been a busy week already. We've had the FA Cup and of course we will have to see how that may affect some starting lineups. We've had a few... Minor injuries that could affect uh, selections uh, in terms of what teams come out for the games in the weekend. And uh, it's always a good tip to um, hold a little bit on your bets until you see or at least hear a little bit more. Maybe from the press conferences uh, regarding those players that are 50-50 at the moment. Will they play? Will they not? We have a Dominic Calvert-Lewin might be out for Everton. Uh, where is Jamie Vardy on fitness against Liverpool? He, he was just back from injury and forced into play uh, in the FA Cup as well. So let's see on that. We have Ruben Diaz in Manchester City as well, who is a doubt. But we have, uh, of course, looked at all those things, tried to predict the best we can. And we have made a combination. We have done a treble of three games from the Premier League weekend and also picked out our best bet of the weekend, as we always do. We start our accumulator with uh, Manchester City against uh, Tottenham Hotspur. Manchester City, of course, took a huge victory uh, at the Anfield last weekend 4-1 and uh, they have at least one hand on the title trophy at the moment and me personally I think Manchester City have won this uh, race already and uh, they will just triumph and um, walk uh, with uh, this all the way uh, through the season. Um, they have Champions League coming up soon they will probably want to have uh, the Premier League uh, done and dusted uh, before they walk into that um, and they will of course aim to take three points against uh, Spurs on uh, Saturday but let's be clear that Jose Mourinho he has a good record against Pep Guardiola they uh, are the last team to beat Manchester City this season and um, it could be tighter uh, and closer um, than uh, many may think the pick I've made for this one is both teams to score. It's actually a great value at the moment. Uh, Manchester City, of course, has a perfect record in terms of their defense, but they have conceded in the last two games against Liverpool and Swansea. And Jungmin Son and Harry Kane, they're probably the best attacking duo uh, in the Premier League at the moment. So I think it's well worth to have a look at both teams to score at City against Spurs. Then we have, uh, for Sunday, we've looked into Arsenal against Leeds United. Leeds United is, of course, a team that I think have excited everyone. Patrick Bamford has been tremendous uh, in terms of goal scoring. Rafinha looks a player, uh, to say the least. And, of course, Marcelo Bielsa is always 
doing his best to uh, um, make uh, make football uh, fun to watch. Um, Leeds have they had a four three defeat against Liverpool at Anfield. They had six two against uh, Manchester United at Old Trafford. I think they can probably upset Arsenal here. Um, Arsenal have two consecutive defeats. And uh, Leeds, they're on the run here. So um, what I've been looking into is the goal scoring markets. Uh, I think we will see a lot of goals here. And you could probably even go over 3.5. But in this combination, we've stayed at over 2.5. So over 2.5 goals in Arsenal against Leeds at the Emirates on Sunday. The last game in our combination, the accumulator here, is Chelsea against Newcastle on Monday night. Chelsea have kept four clean sheets from five games since uh, Thomas Tuchel arrived. It's actually only Antonio Rudiger, uh, their own defender, who have scored against them uh, with his uh, own goal against Sheffield United. They look super solid in defense. Uh, they've restructured and it also gives a little bit more of create, uh, attacking creativity uh, to the players up front. Um, they, they seem to have found a balance and I think uh, they will quite easily beat Newcastle on Monday night. Uh, they are without Kalen Wilson as well, who is of course their, their attacking threat. And um, we are backing Chelsea to win to nil, to win without concede. So the treble we've made for the Premier League weekend is City Spurs, both teams to score. Arsenal leads over 2.5 goals in total. And then also Chelsea, Newcastle, Chelsea to win to nil without conceding there. Then the best bet of the weekend, we've looked to the Hawthorns for West Bromwich against Manchester United. Uh, of course, United, they scored nine against Southampton, pretty much a freak game, uh, but also three against the Everton. They they seem to have have found ways to, to mix all those great attacking players at the moment. Uh, goals from Bruno and Cavani uh, the other weekend, and um, they I, I think they will only continue here against West Bromwich. Um, we go uh, United to win on a minus one handicap. That's great value at the moment. You could probably also look at maybe United to score over 2.5 goals on their own in this game. But our best bet of the weekend is Manchester United to win against West Bromwich at a minus one handicap. We wish you the best of luck for the weekend. Uh, and uh, let's enjoy another great uh, weekend of Premier League football. Thanks Robin. And let's keep our finger crossed for this weekend. We are so confident of the work done by our experts that we always back the tips they provide, weeks in and out. And we have been correct as we have achieved great results in the last weeks, so let's hope we can continue. But now let's go to mainland Europe as our local expert Luca Semproni is ready to give us the weekend tips of the Spanish La Liga and the Italian Serie A. Luca has been in fantastic form in the last two weeks, tipping correctly four anytime goal scorer out of four. Let's hope it will continue like this. Luca, are you there? Ciao Simone, un saluto dall'Italia e ben ritrovati a tutti gli appassionati di Betting Tips for You. Oggi vi proponiamo due tripere e ormai come da consuetudine due scommesse singole su due marcatori. Per quanto riguarda la prima tripla, alla prima partita che prendiamo in esame è Sampdoria Fiorentina, vi consiglio ehm, segno 1. La Sampdoria viene dal pareggio di Benevento per 1-1 ma nelle ultime tre partite in casa ha subito una sola sconfitta, una Juve lanciatissima, quindi sconfitta per 2-0, ma altresì ha anche vinto 2-1 con l'Udinese e in particolare ha vinto 2-1 con l'Inter. Mentre la eh, Fiorentina è penultima in trasferta perché ha ottenuto una sola vittoria e ben 6 sconfitte. Peggio di lei ha fatto solamente il Crotone. Quindi eh, ci aspettiamo Sampdoria Fiorentina segno 1. La seconda partita che prendiamo in esame è Bologna-Benevento, dove scommettiamo sul gol di entrambi. Il Benevento, come detto, viene dall'1-1 in, in casa contro la Sampdoria e nelle ultime sei partite non è andato a segno solamente nella sconfitta per 4-0 a San Siro, mentre nelle restanti 5 partite ha comunque sempre segnato almeno un gol. Subisce comunque tantissimo perché ha subito ben 41 gol. Il Bologna invece viene dall'ottimo dall 3-0 a Parma nel derby emiliano dove si è finalmente eh, sbloccato Musabarro, attaccante che ha segnato due gol. 
e anche loro comunque subiscono moltissimo perché hanno subito ben 35 gol ci aspettiamo quindi una, una partita con gol uh, da parte di entrambi quindi Bologna Benevento gol di entrambi l'ultima uh, giocata della tripla è Ennesiri marcatore in Siviglia Huesca perché innanzitutto perché ha pagato molto bene poi perché comunque eh, sembra la stagione della consacrazione per questo giocatore che in questo campionato ha già segnato 13 gol veramente un grande colpo di eh, mercato del direttore Monci rientrato a Siviglia da Roma e eh, tanto è vero che appunto questa attaccata ha già attirato le attenzioni di molti si parla della stessa Roma, del Bayer Leverkusen ma anche del West Ham giocatore giovane di appena 23 anni eh, il marocchino comunque appunto ci aspettiamo che segni anche perché il Siviglia questa settimana gioca con l'Uesca che è ultimo in classifica quindi ricapitolando la prima tripla è Sampdoria Fiorentina segno 1 Bologna Benevento gol di entrambi e gol di N Siri in Siviglia Uesca passiamo adesso alla seconda tripla la prima partita in esame è Napoli Juve ci aspettiamo segno 2, vittoria della Juventus, perché? Innanzitutto perché la Juve è in un grandissimo momento di forma, con lo 0-0 in casa con l'Inter si è, si è aggiudicata la partecipazione alla finale di Coppa Italia, dove avrebbe battuto appunto l'Inter a domicilio 2-1. In campionato invece viene a tre successi di fila, tutte e, due per, tutte e tre per 2-0, in dove spicca appunto il successo per 2-0 contro la eh, Roma. Il Napoli invece ha una situazione completamente opposta perché ha perso 3-1 con l'Atalanta ed ha salutato appunto la Coppa Italia. In campionato è reduce dalla sconfitta per 2-1 con il Genoa che tra l'altro avevamo qui pronosticato e eh, è senza difesa titolare perché comunque gli mancano sia Koulibaly che eh, Manolas. In più, come abbiamo detto già l'altra volta, ci sono acque molto agitate tra Cattuso e il presidente De Laurentiis, addirittura si parla di ultima spiaggia per l'allenatore del, del Napoli. Quindi vi consigliamo Napoli-Juve, eh, ci aspettiamo Napoli-Juve, segno 2. L'altra partita in esame è Cagliari d'Alanta, in questo caso ci aspettiamo, puntiamo sul gol di entrambi. Il Cagliari è reduce da una sconfitta di misura per 1-0 con la Lazio, dove comunque però ha giocato un ottimo, una buona partita, una partita cagliarda, lottato fino all'ultimo. E eh, dal pareggio veramente beffa con il Sassuolo, dove era in vantaggio per 1-0 fino al 94esimo per poi subire il pareggio. Eh, L'Atalanta eh, invece è reduce dal 3-3 in casa con il Torino, dove però vinceva per ben 3-0 e quindi sta recuperando i tre gol. Ancora prima aveva subito la sconfitta con, eh, in casa per 3-1 con la Lazio, eh, però passata appunto come dicevamo in finale di Coppa Italia, quindi sarà abbastanza carica perché 3-1 con il Napoli gli è valso la finale di Coppa Italia dove incontrerà appunto la, la Juve. Sono due squadre, tutte e due Sancaia e Atalanta, che, subisco, che eh, segnano eh, molti gol ma subiscono anche tanti, in particolare Atalanta che come abbiamo detto nelle ultime due partite ha incassato ben 6 gol. Quindi ci aspettiamo gol da parte di entrambi. L'altra partita che prendiamo in esame è il campionato spagnolo, siviglia Huesca. Aspettiamo il segno 1. Eh, il Siviglia è un ottimo momento di forma, 4 vittorie di fila, 4 vittorie scusate nelle ultime 5 partite, e quarto posto in classifica ad un solo punto dal Barcellona, è un'occasione ghiottissima per il Siviglia per risalire la uh, classifica. In più, tra l'altro, settimana scorsa c'è stato l'esordio del Papu Gomez che ha anche eh, segnato. Papu Gomez è veramente stato il colpo di mercato, di, il colpo di questo mercato. Anche qui veramente complimenti all'ex direttore della Roma, eh, Monci. E, eh, il Buesca invece viene dalla sconfitta per 2-1 con eh, il Real Madrid, dove ha giocato comunque una partita dignitosa, però è pur vero ecco, che l'ultimo in classifica con appena 16 punti. Quindi, ricapitolando, la seconda tripla è Napoli-Juve, segno 2, Cagliari-Atalanta, gol di entrambi, Siviglia-Uesca, segno 1. Veniamo adesso a due, consigli, a due scommesse singole riguardanti i due marcatori. Il primo, la prima scommessa singola con marcatore è Mkhitaryan, Noi sappiamo che Mkhitaryan segni in eh, Roma-Udinese. Eh, Grandissima stagione per lui, con 9 gol e 8 assist è stato a secco con, con la Juve, contro la Juve, anche se poi è il risultato comunque il più pericoloso e il più in forma nell'attacco giallorosso. Eh, sta vivendo veramente a Roma una seconda giovinezza, 
dopo che eh, è stato praticamente ceduto gratuitamente dall'Arsenal, è stato svincolato dall'Arsenal. Quindi, appunto, dicevamo, grandissima stagione a Roma. Perciò ci aspettiamo che Militare vada in gol in Roma Udinese. Secondo marcatore, de scommessa singola, Joao Pedro, che eh, ha segnato 11 gol in questo campionato e 18 lo scorso anno. E, scommettiamo su di lui perché, innanzitutto, la quota è molto molto alta. E poi perché comunque, come dicevamo prima, la difesa dell'Atalanta ultimamente non è imperforabile perché in due partite in campionato ha subito 6 eh, gol. Quindi ci aspettiamo anche qui il gol di Joao Pedro. Perciò marcatori Mkhitaryan in Roma Udinese e Joao Pedro in Cagliari Atalanta. Nel ricordarvi come sempre di giocare responsabilmente, eh, auguro buon calcio a tutti e ridotte la linea Simona. Grazie. Great work Luca and thanks for the tips and analysis. We'll keep our fingers crossed once again and uh, hope that we're gonna get more wins coming from Italy. But now I can hear some uh, French music, can you? Oh yes, it is uh, Justine Matignon that is ready in Paris to tell us the tips prepared by our local French office for this weekend in the League One. Justine, that's over to you. Hello, bonjour, betting tips for you. From Paris, it is Justine Matignon here and I'm going to give you The tips just released by our French team for this weekend, Ligue 1 football. As per the format of the show, we will give you one bet of the weekend and a treble. Let's start with the bet of the weekend, which features in Saturday's 4 p.m. clash between Paris Saint-Germain and Nice. Paris Saint-Germain are coming into this match in excellent form, having won 2-0 over title rivals Lyon and with 22 points gaps between those two teams in the, in the table. It is unlikely we will see surprise this weekend. Nice have lost three of their last, last five match in Ligue 1, while Paris Saint-Germain have improved significantly under Mauricio uh, Pochettino and have now won 2 nil in five of their last six matches in all competitions. So Paris Saint-Germain should beat Nice comfortably, but they won't probably need to score too many goals as they are unlikely to concede. For this season, baking Paris Saint-Germain to win under 3.5 goals looks the best value and it is our bet of the day, or bet of the weekend, I should say, pardon. Let's now move to the treble. The first selection is Lyon to win and both teams to score against Montpellier at the Parc Olympique Lyonnais on Saturday night. Lyon are coming into this match in good form, having won five of their last six matches in all competitions. Montpellier, on the other hand, have lost three of their last six games and we expect them to struggle against Olympique. Go uh, goals, uh, however, should come from both ends as both teams have uh, scored in four of their last six matches involving Montpellier. The visitors have been in a fine scoring form despite to, uh, the poor results. Second selection in the draw under 2.5 goals at the Stade Matmut Atlantique between Bordeaux and Marseille. Those two teams are coming into this match in very bad form with Bordeaux that have lost their last three league matches and uh, Marseille who have lost four of their last five matches. Only one point separates them in the table. So, we do expect a balanced affair where the feat of losing again should dominate. The value in this case is in, is in the under 2.5 between two teams that are going to focus on avoiding a necessary risk give, them, give their precarious situation. The third and last selection in our treble is also coming on Sunday afternoon 
and it is Lille to be Brest, Brest at the Stade Pierre Moreau. Christophe Galtier's men have been one of the surprise package of the this league in this season. They are currently at the top of the table with two points advantage over Lyon and are in great form having won their last seven consecutive matches. Brest, who are in middle table, would probably find this trip to the Stade de Pierre Mauroy prohibitive for them also considering that they are bad travellers having earned only eight points on the road this season so far. This trouble returns a bit more than 6 to 1, which means that if you bet 10 pounds, you will get back 63 if all goes to plan. And uh, we, we, ho we all hope it will go to plan. Bonne chance! It is all for this week from Paris. I wish you a great weekend. Good luck with your bets and always gamble responsibly. Thank you very much, Justine. Remember that you will find all the links for the bets suggested in this show in the description below. By clicking on those links, you will load our bets directly in your bet slip. This will save you time, will make sure you get the selections correctly and ultimately allow you to bet with a bookmaker that offer the best odds for the selection given. Remember that odds are subject to change so although we make every effort to check that the odds are provided are the best possible, those can always change, so make sure you check before betting. Make sure you subscribe to Betting is for You TV on YouTube to get access to all exclusive tips and also get notifications when new videos are released. All you need to do is to click on the link in the post above and everything is completely free. It is now everything for this weekend show and from all of us we wish you a great weekend with football, good luck with your bets, but most importantly, always remember to gamble responsibly.